Peter looking at you from the heavens, and this is gonna be a start of a come travel with me vlog. Yay! So we are going to Mount Gambia again, um, which is so exciting. I've been needing a trip away for the longest time. We're gonna take Henry, and I decided to name my camera Henry. We're gonna take Henry for like the first ever kind of like trial run ever um so we're gonna try a new hotel in mount gambia which will be awesome because uh i'm going with emily and brandon um if you guys don't remember brandon brandon is emily's partner yeah so he opted out to get a hotel with a pool so we're going to a hotel with a pool now um but hopefully this one will be a bit better because last time we went to a hotel in the mount um we had lots of issues with um like the bathrooms so hopefully this new place is a bit better like the other place you know service was amazing rooms were always clean and amazing you just had literally hardly any hot water in the shower and it would quick easily change from hot to cold hot to cold it was like the worst shower experience ever ever so um every, every time we went back they were like oh we're trying to get it fixed it'll be like a year so um it's been like over a year since i vlogged so it'll be nice to see if anything's different um us trying different things and um yeah it'll be good um at the moment i'm watching call me chris while uploading some videos today i gotta pack i gotta go and pop into work and help out with things just you know till i see things i guess hop back home try and get a video out for tomorrow uh spend some time with the fan band when they get home from work oh i gotta cook dinner tonight as well no i don't want to cook well, that's a bridge we'll cross when we get to it. And it'll be good to actually take this camera for a proper test run for vlogging because it's hard for me to do a proper review on it if, when I haven't vlogged with it yet. So, let's get into it. <laughs> it's a little bit later. Um, I haven't even packed yet. It is currently quarter past nine at night and I still haven't packed. My videos just started uploading that I've been editing today. And yeah. So I need to start packing. I'm going to do a quick tidy so I can come back home to a clean room because I don't like coming home to a filthy room that just looks like I had no idea what I was doing before I was leaving. Right. I like how it does a little beat too to let you know it's recording. Yeah. We're off! First trip with Henry. I've decided to name my camera Henry. Okay. So how long have we got? What do you um, reckon? We're still acquiring some of those, but it should be about five hours. No, I'm joking. We've done this trip multiple times. <laughs> Also, by the way, I've apparently brought Emily back into her emo phase again. Only with music. Only with music, so she's dressing like a normie and listening to... Uh... Oh, there's a word for people. Like. <laughs> Is that yeah. a word for people? You're like... normie! You're such a normie! I'm gonna cry now. But I wouldn't even consider myself emo. I don't think I ever really was emo. I knew I wanted to be, but I never really was. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think I was just more of a, turned out to be more of a metalhead. I don't know. You listen to people screaming and that gives me anxiety. <laughs> Like only probably like 30 minutes in and we got hungry already. <laughs> so we got ham and cheese croissant. What how the croissant? Good. Good. I'm about to find oh they wrapped it up so it's hot. Get hot. Uh. Oh it does feel good. Uh. <laughs> it's good. Emily <laughs> with a silent road raid. Prepared to stop, hopefully we don't need to stop. Mm. That's right, we'll get on to the next one. Have you seen the B movie? He's like, I am the main character in the B movie. <laughs> main Hilarious. character energy. 
<laughs> I'm offended, I'm a world to come to tell. No, I can't. Oh my god, there's hate to them. Oh my god, don't put your window down. I'm looking at, I saw something made over there, so I'm just like, it's okay. Wizard. Wizard. A wizard. A wizard. <laughs> You're a wizard, hurry. <laughs> He's gonna think I'm weird. Sorry, I'm just a YouTuber. Nice beard, bro. <laughs> he did the finger guns. It's like, oh, we got like the worst spot. <laughs> Enjoy some fencing, guys. That's like panic of did you do it fast enough? This guy's really like this weirdo vlogging. Cheers, bro. In snack, snacky time. So cheese everyone! So head to YouTube! I just realised that SC next to Kingston stands for South East. <laughs> Laurie! Have a look at that Laza. Big Laza Laza Lazzy. Big Lobster. I love to have Big Lobster like that. about the bugs. Yeah, okay, we're gonna think, think about, about the bugs. Okay. So All we've right. got our own functional microwave. Sure. That's amazing. That we've was... got a very functional mirror. We've got our veggie chips. We've got a Dr. Pepper. That's empty. Top gynecologist. We've got a TV. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> we've got an awesome TV, which we probably would overuse. We got the sliding door, and there's a very confusing curtain that's leaving me more confused than the last guy I talked to. Then we got these amazing two queen-size beds because I don't want to touch my sister or her boyfriend. Then we got this awesome Harry Potter closet bathroom with the most bizarre mirror known to man. <laughs> yeah. And then we got this awesome shower that has no shower door. Nice. That was a big step there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then the towel rails inside the shower too! Does yeah. that make sense to you? That's gonna get wet, isn't it? What about in here? Oh yeah, we What's got there? probably Harry Potter. And we got carpet from the 1700s and looks like a bag left from some random person. <laughs> Let's see what's in there. Oh my god, it's probably actually... a hairdryer, Jess. Yeah, it says hairdryer on the bag. Okay, it is a hairdryer, so it's not a random foot. We got, well, Mount Gambia welcomes you. We got a mysteriously stained ironing board. Or just someone that's burnt it. Okay, obviously. cool. Alright, I'm glad, I'm glad I got a sister. Clearly this place has had, like, renovations. Oh, we got extra blankets and, and we, we got, got some fire spray. Yeah. It's not Mountain, it's a uh, first force. That's the Audi version. So yeah, thanks for my cream. Eee, it's getting close to dinner time. What even is the time? 6.30, getting close to din dins. A new video just came out, which is like, yay. And we decided we're gonna get macros. Do like, we used to do like this old buffet style thing back when we used to be able to spend more time together. So we decided, cause Brandine popped in and Said hello and quickly nipped off to at work, so we decided to do our buffet thing again. We're gonna get all the macos. We got the goods. We got some noggies and some crab and some all good food now. And we got some child-friendly beverages. I'm drinking. Um, you're up. 
Go, Amy, get some Amy the cream, get celebrate. Celebrate being here, getting away from the nifty people. I don't know how to go to the because it's a bathroom. I wasn't expecting all. By the way, nice shower. Amazing. I literally was like, that guy that I reacted to in my uh, For You page fell video, I'll probably insert it right here. Yeah. It was amazing, I literally felt like everything was going to fall off me with the pressure of the shower first, so the pressure was really intense and that thing, but um, now it's time for my face routine. Tomorrow I think we're going to go look around at some sites that I haven't been to for a while, like some sinkholes and all that sort of stuff, um, which I think will be good. I'll show you the products I'm using in a second. So as you guys know, I have pretty acne prone skin, uh, which is fine, it's completely normal. I am not the biggest fan of wearing makeup all the time, like I do my eyeliner, I do my mascara for work, but I don't genuinely like wearing um, like foundation or anything like that because it angers my skin. So I put this on every night. Apparently it's kind of like okay. It's very cheap too. But apparently this is probably one of the most like decent vitamin C serums you can get. It's cheap and it works. So I only put it on at night though because Maka told me something that apparently you should put on a vitamin C on your skin if you're gonna be out like in the sun, especially in Australia, um, because you burn more easily having vitamin C on you. I never knew that. So I only put it on at night now instead of morning and night. I think you're only supposed to put it on once a day. Morning, no, it says mornings and evenings, but because I'm out in the sun all day and I live in Australia where literally everything wants to kill you, I only put it on once. Now, when I shower, when my pores are all open, I use La Roche Posay. Um, it's French, obviously. It seems to be working. I used to use um, a very heavy medicated wash for my cystic acne because I had really bad cystic acne. It would come up all around me, like, it's literally shrunk it by half. Like, I still got it. Like, and I got one coming up here. I had one coming up here, but I used to have it quite bad down my neck and touch wood. I haven't been there for a while, so um, so I've been using that face wash um, whenever I shower, and then morning and night I try to use this one. It's gonna there we go, um, which is the effect effect lighter do work plus. Um, this is really hard to find now. <laughs> So, um, but if it works, it works, right? Um, it, this is supposed to be really good for acne prone skin. Um, I always try to do this with like clean hands as well because um, if you're prone to acne, you should not be doing this with, you know, dirty hands. Also, sorry that I'm leaning out of frame. Again, like I showed, these mirrors are weird. Um, so I'm gonna have to like lean down. But on Sunday, we are going to be, um, I, think, I think Emily mentioned about wanting to go down to Beachport for a bit, which I reckon is a pretty good idea. Um, so that would be kind of cool because I don't think I've actually been there. And if I have, I haven't been there in a time frame where I remember it. Well, also, typically part of my night routine, I get these um, pimple patches. They're like these ones that my friend Ash recommended me and they work like a treat and they're like the ones that turn white when you peel them off. I usually put them on, on areas where I feel like it will work um, because if, it, if I put it on, for example, this lump here, it's not going to do nothing. But if I put it on like here and here, it'll probably actually pull out some of it, but I forgot to bring it, so don't come at me. Um, yeah, so this is going to be it for me tonight. And I'll see you guys in the morning.
God damn it, brain and shaming people's lives and homes and shit. <laughs> so where are we going? Collars and cuffs. Collins and cuffs. Collars. And collars cuffs. and cuffs. Because Brandon says collar weird. I thought he said cuffs. I thought he said Collins. But collars. honestly, collars, collars and cuffs kind of low key excite me. Collars. Collar. You're collar. Collar. I'm gonna get some breakfast. See the bird. Oh, it's just a sinkhole. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> you can't promote something that people can't look at. <laughs> oh, look, there's more fencing there, so yeah, it must be in there. Yeah, it's, it's completely stuff. fenced off. We just realized how crusty, dusty, and musky our hotel room was. Brandon found a nature grain underneath our microwave. It was like it kind of gross. Yeah. And yeah, the, that hotel, we won't dog him, but it's like, wouldn't recommend. It was like it kind of gross. So I think we'll go back to our other normal place that we normally stay when we come here. And yeah, but it's good. It's like you never know till you try. You never know till you try. So where are we going? We're going to get some fuel and then to McCord's morning tea. Yeah, so we're going to get some tea. I'm going to get some coffee because I'm going to die if I don't have coffee today. And because I'm having coffee, I'm going to try and not have an energy drink today. But, um, 
Yeah, it should be good. We didn't end up eating our sweet scrolls yesterday, so we might have it at some point today on the drive home. But I'm like excited. I got the Bischoff one. But the sweet chili and mozzarella ones, they are always good. It's just like, and it was so sticky and so yum 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 yum. So, they, oh, all the old people are out playing bowls. They're all out playing bowls. But no, it was good. We had, I ended up not recording dinner last night because I was like, it's nice just to have a moment where you're just enjoying it. So, but, um, yeah. Had good dindins, had a lot of, had a schnitzel. Couldn't finish it, but it was good schnitzel. Emily had a schnitzel as well. Um, yeah, it was good. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> so we just got coffee. So now I'm caffeinated. I got a big one because I needed a caffeine. And now we're heading to Beachport. Yay! Emily's concentrating because there's so many idiot drivers at the moment. No, they're just slow. <laughs> they're slow. So we're going to Beachport. I've never been to Beachport before. I don't think. I think last time I've been there probably was really tiny. So I haven't been to Beachport that I remember. No, I don't think we've ever taken you there. Yeah. I or don't even, think so. You don't think mum and dad took us there when we were like kids? I don't think so either. I, know, I can see, I could probably see like mum and dad watching this and being like, yeah, we did take you there when you were like 0.3 years old. Yeah, we're just following Brandon, we're gonna go to Beachport. I don't even know what's that Beachport, but it'll be pretty cool to look around. There's a pretty cool jetty. There's a pretty cool jetty. You hear that? Pretty cool jetty. Go down and see some woods in the ocean. <laughs> went to Beachport and I've got Emily and Brandon staring at me through the promise screen but I've got new pistonies. Do they look awesome? I hope so. Apparently they look better than my last ones. You can goodbye. Yeah I think we're gonna head home now. It's cool to explore a little bit and um yeah it'll be nice just to finally get home. Apparently Lucky's been screaming at our cars because <laughs> we've borrowed dad's car, dad and mum's car. Um, for this trip, so apparently Lucky's missing us a little bit, so I think he's gonna be giving us a cold shot when we get home and excited about it at the same time. But, um, yeah, a cruisy trip home. Just feel so tired, I feel so exhausted from this trip, but at the same time, I'm glad I did it, so. 223 kilometers till our next turn. <laughs> no, thank you. It's crazy.